Here's a nice permutation question. In how many ways can 8 blue and 3 red marbles be arranged in a row such that no red marble is adjacent to another? All marbles are identical except for colour. First, let's set up the structure to our answer. The number of ways this can be done is if we have the unrestricted number of permutations and subtract from it the number of permutations that have all three red marbles together and also subtract the number of permutations that have only two red marbles together. Let's label the three expressions as x, y and z. Let's find x first. The number of ways you can arrange in a row 11 different objects is 11 factorial. But since out of this 11 we have 8 identical objects being the blue marbles and also another 3 identical objects being the red marbles, we need to divide this expression by 8 factorial and, 11, uh, and 3 factorial. And this gives x equals 165. Now to find y. In these arrangements, we want to ensure that all three red marbles are together. So, let us tie them together. If we do this, considering that we have eight blue marbles, we'll now have to arrange nine objects. And we know that we can arrange nine different objects in nine factorial different ways. But you also need to account for the number of arrangements of the items that you have bundled together, being the red marbles. And you need to multiply by the factorial of the number of these that are bundled together. In this case, we have three red marbles bund bundled together, so we need to multiply by three factorial. Now this is correct if the blue marbles and the red marbles were all different. But because the blue marbles are identical and the red marbles are identical, we need to divide, as is, was the case with x, by 8 factorial to account for the 8 identical blue marbles and 3 factorial to account for the identical red marbles. And this gives us 9. Now it's time to find the last expression, z. And this is the trickiest one of the, other, of the whole three. It might be tempting here to say that z is equal to 10 factorial because you would probably bind the two red marbles together giving you a total of 10 units, multiply it by 2 factorial, divide it by 8 factorial to account for the identical blue marbles and also divide by 3 factorial to account for the identical red marbles. Can you see the problem with this? I hope you see that such an expression does not does that actually also takes into consideration the case where all three red marbles are together. So there's a bit of an overlap, so that won't work. Let's have a look at some cases whereby the two red marbles are together and the third red red marble is not adjacent to these two. Case 1. Imagine the two red marbles occupy the first two positions, in which case the third position must be occupied by a blue marble. And this can be done in one different way. And so you have eight objects left to organize, which can be done in eight factorial divided by 7 factorial to account for the fact that 7 of these 8 marbles are blue, identically blue. There's no need to account for the red marble because there's only one of them. So case 1 results in 8 different ways. Consider now case 2 where we have shifted the two red marbles one to the right. So we have reds occupying the second and third positions. 
In such an arrangement, the first position must be occupied by a blue marble, and this can be done in one different way. The fourth position must also be um, occupied by a blue marble, and this can also be done in one different way. So now we have seven objects to arrange, and this can be done in seven factorial divided by six factorial ways, accounting for the fact that there are six blue marbles that are identical, and this is equal to seven. Can you see how every time we move the double R's down the line, we're going to have seven permutations for each position. I'll leave that to you to figure out. And once the double R's get to the final two positions, so that's over here, we're going to have a replica of case one. So in conclusion, we have two cases or two replicas of case one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight replicas of case two. And so Z equals two times eight plus eight times seven equals 72. Finally, substituting the values for X, Y, and Z, we get 84 for the total number of different ways that the eight blue and three red marbles can be arranged in a row, such that the red marbles, are, none of the red marbles are adjacent to one another.